Well, as the songwriter said, they carried him from judgment hall to judgment hall. Pilate said on this man, I find no fault. Somebody bring me some water and let me wash my hands because I don't want to be found guilty of killing an innocent man. Well, good morning, beloved. This is your girl Sharon once again from my front seat. And here I am giving God all praise, honor, and glory for what? For a brand new day. It is Friday. Good Friday, y'all. We are still yet in, still yet. Isn't that like church talk? Still yet, yet, still. Amen and amen. Uh, We are Holy Week. And so when we pick up from yesterday, um, Jesus, he was arrested Thursday and then between Thursday and Friday, uh, it was the arrest. It was, you know, courtroom to courtroom in and out doing stuff on the, on the DL, you know, uh, sneaking. Why? Because, uh, you know, let's get this court stuff done at night. And, and he goes back and forth, goes back and forth. And now it is Friday and the people have spoken, crucify him. And the people who spoke, crucify him are the same folk who a few days prior were laying palm branches and they coats and stuff in the street for him to come on in. See how folk could do you. All right. So he was arrested. He was convicted. And I believe the songwriter said they whipped him up the hill. They whipped him up the hill for me. They whipped him up the hill. They whipped him all night long. They pierced him in the side. The blood came streaming down. I know it was the blood for me. The word of God lets us know that um, there, there was one who was standing by the wayside or, you know, in the crowd there and, um, was it Simon the Cyrene? It, it was a man standing there and 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 he was given the awesome task of, you know, helping with that their heavy cross. And we find that um Jesus was uh crucified. Uh he the the nails went in his hands, the 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 nails went in his feet, and and there, um, and I've heard many a preacher say, and then they made the mistake because they lifted him up. And the word of God says, if I be lifted up from the earth, I'll draw all men. Now, I've heard other preachers say it's deeper than that. You know, it's more than that. And lifting him up, we need to be lifting him up today. So however you take that, and he was lifted up, erected there on the cross, you take it, okay? We're not going to go into that right now. Um. But there on the cross, he hanged. And many of churches today will be doing, you know, the seven last sayings on the cross, if you will. And um, beloved, but do you realize the one I think that's most profound? Where the man stopped dying to make sure his mother was okay. Jesus stopped dying to make sure that his mother was all right. He said to his beloved, he said to his friend, look, you see my mother, mother, you see your son. He stopped dying to care for his mother. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm just saying, you know, sons need to realize that daughters need to realize that (laughs) he was there. He was on the cross, but on the right and on the left. Also hang a couple of thieves, one to the right, one to the left. And of course, there's one being cynical, just like the world. Um, I mean, you all that you say you are, um, why don't you save you and us? Yet there was another thief who said, man, shut up. Don't you know who this is? You and I, we are here because we rightfully did wrong. This man has done no wrong. Jesus. I mean, I I didn't do well in my life, but uh, can you remember me? And Jesus told him right then and there on the cross, this day, you shall be with me in paradise. Beloved, I know the word of God says, repent, believe, and be baptized. Beloved, sometime you called home before you can get to the water. So let's not get so caught up on that point. 
Because by the time you go to the water, the heart has already been changed. Now, I know the scripture says, repent, believe, be baptized. But there, the thief on the cross, there wasn't no time to take him down and bring him up. But Jesus said, this day, this day, you shall be with me in paradise. Beloved, our, I believe our scripture today said it is finished. He got thirsty. Why? He was part man. You know, um, I think on the Wednesday night or Thursday when he went to pray, um, as he was speaking with his disciples and all, I believe, or was it the court people? But anyhow, he said, I could call my father and he could send a whole bunch of angels, legions of angels to come and get me. But I'm going to walk this walk. Beloved, and he chose to stay the course. The word of God lets us know that Jesus, he was obedient to the point of death. Now, it gets to the point where, you know, the Sabbath, the Sabbath, the Sabbath, the sun is getting ready to go down. And we can't work on the Sabbath because we accuse this man of working on the Sabbath. Uh, you remember uh, he healing folk on the Sabbath. And, and then he was like, but how many of y'all? If y'all cow or your ox or your bull fell over in the in the hole, you're not going to get him out on the Sabbath? Of course you will. So we got to get this done before the sun goes down. Well, let's start breaking some bones and stuff. Scripture had already foretold, wasn't going to be no broken bones, not in him. Beloved, and by the time they got to Jesus, he had already given the ghost, given up the ghost. He had already declared it is finished. There was a rather wealthy man, Joseph of Arimathea. And I was reading the scriptures and it said, and he was one of his disciples. And the scriptures let us know that he begged his body and, and he took him and, and he laid him there in the tomb. That was his tomb, beloved. And that tomb is still empty today. Ah. <sighs> I'll never know why, why he did what he did. He didn't have to die, but he did. He hung on the cross so Sharon wouldn't be lost. You neither. He took our place. Now he's pleading our case. He didn't have to do it. Oh, but I'm glad he did. He didn't have to do it. Yes, but I'm glad he did. Beloved, he did it for us. <laughs> And I'm sorry, that was so cheesy trying to throw in my T-shirt, Dallas Cowboys. I'm sorry. Beloved, Christ went to the cross. Now, I pray that this week has enlightened you, um, maybe made you chuckle here or there. But this is one of the, the most important week, I believe, for those men and women of faith. And what we need to know all of these events, as Deacon Vernon Grace told us years ago, Christmas is the promise, Easter it's the proof. This is the proof of God's love. Enjoy the end of your uh, Lenten season. Enjoy your Good Friday. Uh, again, Matthew, I believe we were reading Matthew 21, Matthew 26, and Matthew 27. And that takes us through the events of this week. And um, I'm sure on Sunday morning, pastor is going to let you know that he was down there. And he went to hell and he preached a revival. And he took back the keys from Satan. And then there would be pastors to let you know that um, there were those who had died in the faith. They died in the faith, uh, yet they had not had the opportunity to accept. So he had to go to the grave for them. A pastor going to tell it to you that way. Beloved, some pastors will come, <clears throat> excuse me, and he'll talk. They will speak about the freedom, the liberties that we have because of the cross, because of the blood. Beloved. But one thing is for certain, I believe they're all going to hit the fact that he's not dead anymore because he got up. He got up out of the grave with all power. Beloved, 
And he whom the son has set free is free indeed. He's mighty and he's mighty to save. Beloved, all we've got to do is trust God. Trust his son, Jesus Christ. Let Jesus lead you and he'll lead you. He will lead us. Amen. Enjoy your good Friday. Don't get so caught up tonight and tomorrow in the Easter basket. Somebody going to say it's not about Easter, it's resurrection. We got that. We got that. <laughs> and we need to teach the children. We do. But love, sometimes it's good just to let a child be a child too. You know, there's nothing wrong with coloring the egg. We, 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 we know ain't no bunnies laid, no eggs. Y'all remember Pastor Nehemiah friendship? <laughs> Or Elder Nehemiah, ain't no bunny ever laid no eggs. All of those parents were upset with him that Sunday. <laughs> Boil some eggs and put a little food coloring on it. For whatever reason, blue, yellow dye on the egg just make it taste so much better. <laughs> Let's not get so caught up in the eggs and in the baskets and in the new outfits. Let's not get so caught up in that that we miss the point. And the point is he got up. And the point is, we do not have to go to a Christless grave. Let me get off this phone. I have a doctor's appointment in a few minutes. I'm going to head over there. Oh, excuse me. I tell you, these allergies. Ooh. Oh, so let me get off this phone, get over to my doctor's appointment. Actually, I have a couple appointments today. And you know what, beloved? <clears throat> then we're going to get busy getting ready for hams and dressings and 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 uh strawberry shortcake okay so growing up our menu was this is my mother prepared every easter ham roast macaroni and cheese candied yams green beans potato salad dinner rolls strawberry shortcake mm-hmm Oh, Lord, I'm hungry. This is your girl, Sharon, beloved. If it be the Lord's will, we will meet again on Monday from my front seat. I'm out, y'all. Deuces.